question first draw a line say a b take a point c outside it through c draw a line parallel to a b using ruler and compasses only in this question we have to follow certain steps and the question says we have to draw first a line we have to name it a b similar it has been done here and this line can also be represented with small l and remember from the previous classes a line is endless therefore we represent line from the both ends with this arrow sign now we have to take a point c which is outside of this line a b that is it must be within some finite distance on your paper now through c with this c we have to draw a line parallel to this a b that means your line will be something like this and by parallel we mean all the points on this line c will be at equal distance from all the points on line b a and important thing is that you have to use only ruler and compasses so first step is simple you draw a line a b and mark a point c within finite distance from this line l or a b so that is your first step and you also have to write in steps so step one is take a line l and point c outside l now step two take any point d on l and join dc so you can take any point d within these boundaries where you have defined two points a b so we have taken somewhere here and we have mentioned it as d and we have joined it with the help of ruler that's just step two what we are doing in step three with d as center now with d as center and a convenient radius that is with the help of compasses you will open with a convenient radius that must be shorter than distance d a let's open it up to d f that is put your sharp needle of compass on d and open it up to f and draw an arc like this that is arc e f cutting l it should cut l at f and this dc line at e so you have drawn an arc and put the point here e and f here that's your step three now step four with c as the center so whenever we are saying center it means you have to put the needle of your compasses on that point c and the same radius that is you don't have to change the radius of the compasses that you have used here to draw this arc ef draw an arc gh cutting cd at i with this same radius you put your compasses needle here and draw an arc ag here that must cut this line segment cd at i so that is your fourth step now step five place the pointed tip of the compasses at f now you have to pick up your compasses and put the sharp needle at point F and adjust your radius up to E. That is, you're measuring the distance from F to E with the help of compasses. That is, you'll put your needle here and open your compasses to point E so that your pencil tip must fall exactly on this E. That is your step five. Now step six, with the same opening, now you'll pick your compasses up and with center I, you will put your needle on this point I and mark with the help of pencil on the compasses and cut this arc HG at point J. So it will cut somewhere here. So that is your step six. Now step seven is simply you got this point. You will pick up your ruler and with the help of another pencil, you will draw a line like this. In step seven, we have shown this. That is line M joining J and point C. That will be a straight line. And all the points on this line will be equal distance with all the points in BA. That is parallel points. If we have point perpendicular to B here, it will be of same distance as compared to this point somewhere here and here. That is the concept of parallel line. So these are the steps to construct parallel line when a line is given to you. And the important thing to learn in this question is that while we were placing our needle on F and opening to E and then Putting at I and opening till J, we were making alternate interior angles equal. That is angle EDF equals ICJ. This is the property of transversal and that states that if alternate interior angles of a uh, transversal are equal, then the lines are said to be parallel. So that is your question number first. Question number two. Draw a line L. Draw a perpendicular to L at any point on L. On this perpendicular, Choose a point X 4 cm away from L. Through X, draw a line M parallel to L. First of all, we have to draw a line L. So we have drawn a line L. This is your line L. Draw a perpendicular to L. We have to draw a perpendicular on line L at any point on L. So we have taken a point P 
on this line L and we are going to draw a perpendicular at this point P. We have to measure this perpendicular till 4 cm and wherever it meets, we named it as point X. From there, we have to draw another perpendicular. So this eventually will make this line M parallel to line L. That is the idea behind this question. So in mathematics, you just don't draw randomly. You have to write steps. Before starting a question, you must write your aim. That is to construct what we are going to do in this question. So we are going to construct a line parallel to a given line when perpendicular line is also given. So how we are knowing that which part is given to us? Well, we are referencing it from the question itself because we are given till this point. All the points which are given to us, they are marked in this color. And all the construction that we have to do is done by this color, that is red. And this is your compasses, this is your sharp needle, and this is your pencil from where you make arcs. Now, when we have understood this question, let's visit steps of construction. So first is draw a line L and take a point P on it. So with the help of simple ruler, this is your ruler or scale, you will draw a line L of any length. Make sure it fits on your paper. And then second, that's your first step. At point P, draw a perpendicular N. You don't have to mention that how you're going to draw a perpendicular because you have already studied it in your previous classes. That's the point of introducing you to that concept that how to draw a perpendicular on a line. You must be very familiar to it. For the sake of this question, let's revisit it. So how you draw a perpendicular on a given line with a point. Here in this case, it is P with the help of compasses only. You will put your this part, that is sharp part at point P and with a convenient radius, that is smaller radius, you will draw this arc. Drawn and with the same radius, take it up from this and put it here. The pencil will cut here, somewhere here. Draw this arc and then pick it up again from this point and put it here. That is on the another point of this arc and it will cut somewhere here. Now, pick it up again and put the needle here. It will cut somewhere here and then pick it up and put the needle here. It will cut like this. So you got these two points. This point and P is already there. When you join with the help of ruler, make sure these points touch on the ruler. You will get a perpendicular line that will be perpendicular to your line L. So these are the steps which we have omitted. You don't have to write these. It is understood that you already know the steps which you have studied in your previous classes. So that makes your step P. Now see, take PX equals 4 cm. The question has given us that you have to take this measure as 4 cm. Therefore, we have represented it in this color. Now, you will use the scale or the ruler and these are 4 cm. 1, 2, 3, 4. From this point to this point, put this point here and make a measure of 4 cm and put a point here like this and mark it X because we have to mark it as X. Now, through X, draw a line M parallel to L. Well, we have already done this question. This question is also there in your previous standard. Just to remember it, how we are going to do it, take your compasses, put the sharp point at point X and with a convenient radius, draw an arc or a semicircle in this case. Pick it up again and put the needle here. You will have to open your compasses a little bit and draw an arc like this. Again, now do not change your radius. Put needle here, arc like this. With the same radius, now Put your needle here, arc like this, put your needle here, arc like this. Now you have two points X and this point where it intersects. Now you draw a line, name it as M because the question says that you have to name it M. So this line will be parallel to your this line. So it is required construction. Important thing is that in mathematics you have to name every line. We have named it N. However, the question was not saying that you have to name it. But it is a good practice in mathematics to name the lines. You name lines in small letters, there is point in capital letters. So do remember that as well. So that is your question number second. Question number third. Let L be a line and P be a point not on L. Through P, draw a line M parallel to L. Now join P to any point Q on L. Choose any other point R on M through R. Draw a line parallel to PQ. Let us meet L at S. What shape do the two sets of parallel lines enclose? This question is a bit lengthier, so you will break it in parts. It says, 
let L be a line and P a point not on L. So first of all, you will write your aim that is to construct. You will write it in every answer of your construction. So to construct a pair of parallel lines intersecting other part of parallel lines. Now steps of construction. A part is draw a line L and take a point P outside of L. So this color denotes the already provided information that is given part. And this color represent the construction which this question is asking for. So first is let L be a line. So we have constructed a line denoted with small L and putting these arcs at each end that denotes your line. Now we have to consider a P point which is not on this line. So we have taken it here within some finite distance. Now through P draw a line M parallel to L. So we are required to construct this line M which must be parallel to this line L. But again we have to use ruler and compasses. So we will use a property that we have studied in one of our previous question that is alternate interior angle of a transversal gives you parallel lines. This is the property you have studied in your previous class as well. We are going to follow some steps. We did first part B. Take point Q. We will take some point Q on line L and join PQ. So you can take any point Q because initially you must have some transversal. So that's why you will take some point Q and join with the help of ruler and name it with small n. You have to name every line that you have constructed with small letter. Now we are going to construct these angles equal and how we are going to do it. Let's discuss. B is done. Make equal angle at point P such that angle Q equals to angle P. So you don't have to define how you did so because you already know it. But for the sake of question, we are doing it again. First, you will put your compasses needle here and draw an arc with convenient radius. Again, pick it up, put needle here, draw with convenient radius like this. That is, you don't have to change it. The same radius as you used here must be used here. Now, pick your needle up from point P and put it here and adjust your compasses pencil on this point Q exactly and draw a little bit arc like this. Now do not change this radius. Put the needle here and with the same radius wherever it cuts the previous arc that is your point. So this means we have copied this angle that is equal to this and this is a transversal and if these angles are equal that is alternate interior angles are equal that means the lines which we will draw they will be parallel and that's this statement was asking for. That is through P, draw a line M parallel to L. Now pick your ruler or your scale and draw this line and name it with small m and put these arcs to denote line. We have done this thing. Now E, similarly take a point R on the line M because we are asked to do it. Choose any other point R on M. Now we have constructed this line which is parallel to this line. Now we have to consider one point R on this line M. So we have considered here. Now through R, draw a line parallel to PQ. Now this is your line and this is your point R. Using this point R you have to draw this line which must be parallel to this line. Let this meet L at S and this line which will be parallel to this line shall meet at point S. You have to name it with capital S. So all the points are named in capital letters. That is what this question is asking for and at last this question asks what shape do the two sets of parallel lines include? So what is this shape and now the important thing is to know that how we can make this line parallel to this line. So let's discuss it in steps. So e, similarly take a point R on line M already did so. At point R draw angle such that angle P equal angle R. So what we are trying to do is we are going to construct this angle equal to this angle. And what this construction will do? This will make corresponding angles of a transversal equal and the lines which join such transversals are parallel. This is another property. So how we are going to do it? Let's move to the construction. Pick your compasses up. First put the needle here and copy this radius. That is open your pencil up to this radius. That is that must fall on this. Now do not change the radius. Take it up. Put needle here and draw this arc. It will be something like this. And then then pick your compasses and put needle here and open your pencil up to this point. That is the radius where this arc was previously made. Now pick the compasses up, put the needle here because you have to find this point. And with the same radius, wherever it cuts this already drawn arc represented with green, 
just construct this arc. So you got two points now, this point and this point. Now a simple task, pick up your ruler and construct a line such that it must intersect this line L and you have to name this point as S. So this completes your construction. And now the last part of the question it asks, which figure you obtained within this boundary. So remember it is a parallelogram. What is a parallelogram? Where opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other. Well, if you use your ruler and measure this distance, it will be equal to this distance. That is PR equals QS and they are parallel as well. And also PQ equals RS. So the figure you obtain is parallelogram that is PQRS. So do not forget the previous learned concepts because in higher classes, they are just the upgraded versions of previous chapters that you have already studied. So that is your last question, question number third.